used to walk to school this way. Mm hmm That's the banana peel pole. You remember that? Sarah? Oh, yeah. I remember that. I haven't thought about that in a long time. When were you here last? I don't know. Uh, maybe Kevin's high school graduation? Oh, wow. <gasps> Sorry. Must be really hard not having seen him in a while. Dad? I saw him. He came to New York a couple years ago and stayed with me and Jim. Oh. It just hard to it can be hard to get away yeah. was it because you loved ice cream right? because I loved ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> and so he actually put ice cream in my lunchbox and I took it with me to school and I opened it and I found out a little bit about science it was a puddle life. it was a complete puddle <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, okay, tell the one about the banana peel pole. Oh, yeah, okay, <laughs> so there's this pole around the block. Uh, we were on our way to school. We were super little. He was eating this banana, and as soon as he finished it, he put the peel down this hollow metal pole that was on the path. I remember Sarah was like, Dad, what are you doing? You can't put that there. It's trash. <laughs> That's Sarah, already an environmental lawyer and just a little girl. <laughs> hey, Sarah, come here, come here, come here. So anyway, I think he just didn't want to carry that peel around, right? But what he tells us is, okay, I want to do this big science experiment. I want to, come here, sir. I want to know how long it's going to take this banana peel to turn into dirt. So we're like looking in the pole, thinking it's going to happen any moment. He's like, no, 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 come on. We're going to go to school. We'll check on it tomorrow. So we go back the next day. And then for a while after that, I go with flashlights and look down the pole, looking for the peel. I bet it's still there. I hope so. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Bananas were all plastic in the 80s anyway, yeah. so mm -hmm. pretty organic. <laughs> Your turn, Sarah. Uh, my turn? Yeah. We've just been going around the circle telling stories about Dad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, um... Well, Dad really wanted to see a Broadway show when he came to visit me a couple years ago. And um, so he took me out for an early dinner and we met up with Jim a little later and we all went to see Wicked. I'd seen it before, but I think Dad really liked it. Do you remember anything else? Anything like more specific? The dinner that we had was sushi, and our seats in the theater were in the mezzanine, like that specific. That's fine. I was just thinking like a little more, like an early memory or, or something meaningful for you. It's fine, Sarah. Don't worry about it. Aunt Chloe, you, you go next. Oh, um, okay. Oh, do you remember when your dad bought the new car? More meaningful. And the first memory I have in the back of my head is when I was like four and mom was washing my hands in the bathroom and dad was standing at the door and they were just screaming at each other and I was looking over at mom and, and I was looking at dad and I don't remember what they said, but I just remember their faces. And then mom rinsed her own hands, but she forgot to wash mine, and she just patted my soapy hands with a towel. Then she grabbed my backpack, and we went outside, and the door slammed super hard behind us. It's like one of the last memories I have of her. It 
Excuse me, I have to get another drink. So what's going to happen to the house? All this stuff. Oh, I don't know. Kevin and I have talked about selling it. Really? Yeah. Kevin? Hey, you want to sell the house? No, uh, we can talk about all that stuff. It's not something we need to figure out tonight. We grew up in this house. It's where we're from. I always pictured our kids having a big Thanksgiving meal here. It... But Sarah, we have Thanksgiving every year. You've never come. I've always really wanted to. Becca and I think it would be easier to sell the house. We could also kind of use the money. This place is only going to go up in price. It'd be crazy to sell now, not to mention stupid. Someone is just going to buy it and flip it on you guys okay, anyway. Sarah, enough. Where have you been for a decade? That doesn't mean that you I don't Kevin care. Kevin are the ones who have to deal with this when you leave on Monday, so we're not going to talk about this now. Yes. That's the end of the goddamn topic. See anything? No. No? Well, yeah, if we drop more rocks in, we could start seeing it. Yeah, if we don't. Sarah?
Hey, you want some coffee? Yes, please. Where's Kevin? Outside putting around, I'm sure. Hey, Kevin. Yeah. You want some coffee? Oh, yeah. I'm really sorry about last night. Come on. Don't worry about it. Funerals are weird. Funerals are really weird. Well, I thought about it, and I think if you want to sell the house, then that's what we should do. What do you mean? I think if it's easier for everyone, then we should do it. Okay. And I was thinking if you don't mind, it'd be good to stick around for a few weeks. Help out. Hang out. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Stay as long as you like. Great. Hey, I was looking in the pantry and there's nothing but stale cereal. Do you guys want to go to Bucks? I saw it's still around. My treat. We can get banana pancakes. <laughs> Dad would be so proud. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>